Translations can be added directly to a grid or exported and re-imported using files. I'll show you how. Firstly, we'll prep for translation. I have a grid with a few source strings, just here. And then you can see we need translations from these columns here. First, I'll check that dependencies are as they should be. And here we have our English source into German, English into Italian, English into Spanish, and English into French. Now we'll click on the translation overview button found here. Here we can see detail on string counts and word counts. It's broken down into up to date, out of date, and unset. You can see a total number of records here in source, and then what we need in each of the languages below. And here we have our Italian, which has 532 words that need to be translated. At present, we're currently in the default view. What we need to do is select the translator view and ensure that everything is as it should be. So we can do that by selecting manage columns here and reviewing what's featured. Note that all translators will have a target language assigned, so they're only able to add or amend their set target language. If I scroll down, I shall also select last modified time and who modified. We can also add filters and change sorting here. So what we do is we click on add filter. We can select that here or change the sort here as we wish. And we can also change column order. So for example, I may want to push record ID all the way over to the far right hand side here. Note that this view will be mirrored across all users with this view assigned. Now what we'll do is we'll share this view with other users. And here we have select group to share the view. And we shall select our translator group and click on share. So any translators assigned to this group will now have access to the translation view of this grid. They can enter translations direct and also add any questions. If you need to invite a new translator, you can click on the small arrow just below this icon and select edit group. You will then be taken out to the groups dashboard in company settings and you can invite there. Alternatively, go back to the company view and add that new member and assign to a group there. Okay, so now you're ready to translate. You may, however, want to send your text out for translation in a file. To do that, let's go back to our view found in the previous grid. So now we go up to this localization button and select localization export. Here we have our source language and then we can select our target languages at this point too. You can also choose whether or not you want to have source changes highlighted within the export file. I shall leave that checked and select export. The export files are generated locally on your machine. I shall now switch over to the export file. And here we have our German export file. We have our ID column, source language text, and where German text should be entered. We also have our target language status column here, and also an old source language text column. This will clearly highlight what source language changes occurred since the last time translations were sent out. As you can see, there's nothing here because of course this is the first time it's been sent for translation. So what I'll do is move over to the German text translation column, paste in my translations, click on save, and then switch back over to Gridly. So now we're back in Gridly. We can select localization here, and then localization import. At this stage, you can click here on this icon, or you can drag and drop the file. I'll do that now. And here it comes. And those translations have now been imported, as you can see here. I'll then also review this within the translation overview. And you can see here that the German is now up to date. 